as a nappy headed hoe. I know this man would not allow me near him. There's a lot going on here, and a lot of it. You guys remember that Casper video? Hello, 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 hi, it is me, it is I. Small town DD or Harry in these very internets and Akastracha and Bakalau Yala. Guys, please subscribe and like and comment. And thank you for those of you who are doing just that. Okay, great. Let your people know about me. I said in that Casper video that people want you to shut up and go away, like you're messing up their vibe. Like, <clears throat> don't say all of that. Like, it's uncomfortable. We have favorites too that are problematic. See, we, we know how to shut up though. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. We don't try to come out and defend something that we should bow like our heads in shame over. Like the fact that you really enjoy this man's music that much cannot negate the fact that he has the reputation that he has over how he handles women. It cannot be. You all are so sad and pathetic for all of this. He was 19. We can't, he's almost 40. We can't keep being mad at this man for something that he did when he was practically, I'm sorry, did Karuchi not just happen? All the other accusations. And then Nina, us, us the fans, we like to remove ourselves from the equation when we talk about the surviving the R. Kelly's, the surviving the Daddies. We're always like, oh, where were the parents? What about the fact that we continue to fund these people who use their positions and their money to perpetuate these kind of things that they're being accused of doing? What about that? When do we take ownership of the fact that we are part of how this machine was running? We as a society not taking things like GBV seriously. This is why when I come on and I'm like, normalize this and don't make space for abusers in your personal space, treat them like pariahs, do this. It doesn't land because look how much money you've now just parted with to go and support a person. I got tapau so like unji. Girl, are you guys serious? Is it, is it that serious with Chris Brown? Maybe that's the thing. He's not one of my idols, right? I mean, I was a teen when he came out as well and it was fun and the songs were whatever, am I, like, I'm seeing women my age, people older, younger people as well, but I'm like, oh, you're going to do all of that? Like, you're really going to go to the stadium, like, Breezy is work? Is, is that serious? Like, honestly, guys, I'm really confused about the Breezy thing. But what I'm, like, ashamed of is the excusing of what we know this man's behavior. Just do it quietly, man. It's embarrassing when you want to come out and try to justify why it is you're doing you're doing what you're doing because you really think like the music goes like it goes that hard for you. You like him as an act, you know. He's got that whatever you think. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Do not try to minimize this man's actions. Even in recent years, there's been people coming out to accuse him of like how he's treated them and stuff. So how then does I think it's Women for Change? They um set up a petition, I signed it, um, made my little contribution as well. And the people in there, um, in the comments of the person that's posted this who are like, just say you couldn't afford the tickets. It's you who needs to shut up. Just say you don't have the money. Just say it's this quiet. We do guys eat. Oh. Go, go quietly with like a, a hat and go do when a rich nigga want but don't don't do the stuff that you guys are doing on the internet i saw you know the christians you know the christians they love to make room for an abuser they love to excuse that behavior make like what we know is typically repeated behavior make like those things are like once off things I saw a woman and I couldn't download the TikTok because I wanted to add it on here. Who was like, just goes to show what God has for you. No, my God. God. And then when we want to start to critique this God, people want to be like, it's just so disrespectful. But this is who your God like holds in high regard, according to you. Right? Casper said sorry. Well, he said sorry. 
you know, and it's, it's, you go away quietly now. He said, sorry, they, even when people try to do the right thing, you guys don't give them a chance. Here we have somebody who's repeatedly not done the right thing. So what's the excuse here with Chris Brown? With Casper, just a week ago, you were saying to us he's a changed man. Chris is not, like, reformed in any way. Re they're probably just better at concealing things that we can't see. But what woman is really coming out here? I fucking could root you in through it, bitch. What, man is, like, what woman is really coming out here talking about, like, what a gentle giant is and how much he's changed? It's this continuous support, this making excuses for him and people saying, Oh, I can't imagine his mental health, people trying to cancel him. Nobody's trying to cancel that very profitable man where in a, in a way that it actually counts. Okay. Nothing has really been dented in his career. He's still like a mega, like super, a global superstar. Look at him selling out like the biggest stadium on all of the African continent right it, it, what are you talking about his mental health what about the mental health of the people he's probably done things to and them having to come online and hear people minimize like gender-based violence and things like that what about those people's mental health it doesn't matter right because they don't do like the little dance moves that you like so they are not like human enough or valuable enough and you, 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 even if there's a face it's all Brianna forgave him and she's moved on now and she's had all these babies what the fuck do you know about what Rihanna has to go through regarding that incident. What do you actually know? Have you sat down with women who've experienced um, gender-based violence and how years later, the unpacking of that thing, it hits you in different loads at different times. There are moments where you may feel like, you know what? It is what it is. It happened. I've let it go. It's whatever. Then you get on the internet and people are saying things like, well, he was 19 and Rihanna's fine now quiet it, it, it's happening right petitions or not it's happening it is what it is but quiet and pay attention you girls to 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 the men that are making the tiktoks talking about how that's all in the past now they keep saying he was so young like did you beat somebody you were partnered with when you were 19 like black and blue because you were so young you're acting like this is like a rite of passage and it is it is for you, man. It's how you graduate into manhood, right? Terrorizing us, right? And making like, mm, yeah, okay, that's now over. A whole year is not. And one of you dropped the names in the comment. I just don't want to like say it because I haven't seen her in the last night in like forever. So I don't think this is somebody that really wants to be spoken about in relation to that incident. And Kabila Mabalani is there having a flourishing career. Nobody's even suggesting that you hold people to their mistakes but some things are just because honestly i have things that i did when i was much younger things i did just a week ago when i'm like oh i'm so ashamed of that that was but what i won't do is try to make like it was never that serious what i won't do say because so much time has passed it's therefore not such a big deal or because y'all want a vibe we're messing up the vibes disgusting disgusting okay you think about things that were done to you and the, the white people come here and say apartheid was a long time ago and we need to get over it you 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 give that some fucking thought next time you think it's time to dismiss of people's like past traumas but that's it the man is coming the stadiums are sold out y'all are parting with your hard-earned money everybody all of a sudden has money that's also another thing that i saw that's like really interesting all of you we've been online complaining together about how we don't have this and we don't have that 14 15 got 16 one of these fuckers who's gonna be at the fmb stadium is gonna call you to buy them units watch the people that go to the concert in your life their responses to what we're saying but also how much they're going to need you to give them something on the 25th because they, they chose to spend all their money to go and watch Mr. GBV over there. Bye.